Let's start the last topic for this session. In this third topic for this session, we'll see the various types of dividend or the various forms of dividend which dividend can be paid. Okay, we are clear with what is dividend, what are the various factors which affect dividend, what are types of dividend policy. Now let us see what the various forms of paying dividend. Now the company has various forms in which they can pay dividend. The company can either pay dividend in cash, they can either pay in stock, bond or property because of which we have various types of forms of dividend. Let us start with one by one. Cash dividend is the most common form of dividend which we have, paying dividend in cash. Right. The mostly method which is followed by companies all over the world paying the dividend in cash. Other way the company can pay dividend is through stock. What is stock? They give you shares. Now they say the liquidity of the company is intact. They give you more shares. Now these stock dividend is also called as bonus shares. So what is companies does it? Companies issue bonus shares to the existing shareholders. The various reasons why company issue bonus shares. Now, they bring the market price share per share within a reasonable range. Similarly, it increases the number of outstanding shares. If number of shares have increased, what happened? Market price of share goes down. So it helps the company in controlling the market price of share as well. Similarly, the normal rate of dividend tends to decline. Now, this may depict the impression of profiteering of a company. Now, various reasons in short, why company issues a bonus share. Now, similarly, when the company wants to raise additional funds, it is more profitable for a company because the number of shares have increased now. Similarly, bonus shares is a one important form in which a company issues dividend. Now, that has various advantages both to the company, both to the shareholder, right? Now, as you see a company point of view, they can plow back profits more. Now, the number of shares has increased. Similarly, it's a suitable form of dividend. Liquidity of the company has within their reach. Similarly, it has various advantages to the shareholder as well. A shareholder is happy to get a large amount of dividend now. Before he was getting two per share for less number of shares. Now the number of shares have increased. So wealth of the investors increases at the end. So both shareholders and the company, if you see, are impacted by this stock dividend or bonus shares. This is one way a company can pay. Other way a company can pay is bond dividend. Now what is bond dividend? It's postponing the current payment of dividend. A company gives in writing that after, in a later date in future they'll pay the dividend to the investor. This is a bond dividend. Now you can say and it's like a you can say in writing from the company that you'll get a dividend at a future date. That is a bond dividend. Or the company can pay dividend in the form of profit. What is profit? Sorry, property dividend in the form of property. It means in any other asset apart from cash. But these property dividends are no more popular in India. We don't have property dividend, we have cash dividend, we have bonus shares which we have seen. Similarly, we have as this bond dividend as well. But if you ask the most common today which companies follow is cash dividend or either is your bonus shares which will take into picture. So depending upon company to company they do. But if you talk about stock dividend, it has limitations as well. As we seen just not it provides various advantages both to the company and the investors, it has various disadvantages. For example, the company if you see, new shareholders cannot enter the company. Now the existing shareholders are only increasing their wealth. Similarly, in the future dividend what happens? It increases the liability of the company. Tomorrow when you have to pay dividend what happens? Similarly, it re results in overcapitalization for the company. Similarly, if you see from shareholders point of view, market price of the share keeps declining. So shareholder somewhere suffers. Similarly, EPS will fall because the number of shares increases. Similarly, it also disappoints the investors who want to receive the immediate payment of cash. So if you see, stock bonus shares has its advantages, also has its disadvantages. But based on the company and the investors, we have various forms of dividend and the various forms in which dividend can be paid.